friends and welcome back to my channel happy girl Alaska I'm Terry and if you're new here welcome so it's been a minute I was out you guys I had surgery done um, I'm gonna go into more details about what type of surgery but and I'm gonna dedicate some more videos to that but anywho it's good to be back kind of easing back into this vlogging thing this is gonna be a day in the life and maybe a couple days in the life I haven't decided yet um, but I just kind of wanted to kick this off because I have, ooh, I have like three videos that I want to do. Um, for those of you who don't know, I had surgery. Um, today is, what is today? Hold on. All right, today is March 13th, and I had surgery on March 1st. Um, and it's just been, I, you know, I kind of underestimated the um, amount of time it would take me to where I would be able to kind of start easing back into the swing of things, but I learned very quickly that I needed to just sit down somewhere and allow myself to go through the bo my body to go through the healing process. So um, I recently had um, I don't know why I just tumbled over my words. I recently had breast reduction surgery, and it went really well. It's going really well because. I'm just a couple weeks out, almost two weeks out from the day that I had the surgery. As you can see, I have a new do. Uh, I just, I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more convenient and um, lower maintenance because of what I had done. I knew I wasn't going to be able to do a lot of, you know, not too much arm movements and that type of thing. So. This is what I'm rocking right now. Not sure if I'm gonna stick with it, but it's been super convenient. Um, so, it's Sunday. What are we doing today? Well, so far I've just been kind of bumming around the house. I haven't been out and about too much anyway. But I have been, I got a video out today, so that was cool. And then, like I said, I'm gonna make a few videos talking a little bit more about the breast reduction. Um, I know that when I made those three videos last, was it last year? Last year or the year before about bus being a busty woman. Um, I got women that were talking about how, you know, they felt about having larger breasts and that type of thing. And so, um, and one person mentioned to me that they had gotten a breast reduction. So I think it would be helpful. I know that before I got my surgery, I watched a, only a couple videos because it was very nerve wracking for me. Um, but then afterwards, I started watching them because I was going through my healing process. I wanted to see what other people's experiences were like too. So I think in the spirit of keeping that trend going, I want to contribute to that and share my experience and my journey and everything. So I went from a 32H to a 32, I'm either going to be a full C or a D. And so for those of you, just show you real quick may or may not remember and it may be difficult to tell in this sweater but they are significantly smaller and if you think of it in terms of the alphabet the letter represents the cup size so I was a an H I went to it's either gonna be a C or D so we say let's say I'm gonna be a C right D E F G H so that's like five cup sizes smaller. But I can tell you all, I feel a lot better. If I'm a little low energy, that's because I'm still not 100% yet. But I wanted to come to you with a day in the life video. So right now, um, what I'm gonna do is make a video, maybe two, maybe three, about my journey, breast reduction journey. And then I want to edit one more video, another day in the life, to kind of get you all caught up to the point before you see this video and I start releasing my breast reduction videos because I'm gonna dedicate a whole series to that. And I'm thinking I'm probably gonna release those on Fridays just because I kinda wanna reserve Sundays for day, day in the life videos. I might to introduce people to the series, have a couple go out on Sunday. I haven't decided yet, we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and film these videos. Um, and then, I don't know, um, I don't know how I feel about this look yet. I know Kasia does not like the shorter styles on me. She does not like them at all. Um, she likes the younger, 
type of look because she says that it makes me look younger. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Can you see it? Can you really see it? I think it's cute. It's just like a little pixie cut. Um, it's a wig that I dug out of the archives out of my storage. So I have quite a few shorty do's. I'm thinking about doing a video doing like a wig review because who knows, maybe I'll flip back to wearing the shorter styles. Um, when I first started making these videos, I had short hair. So I don't know, for those OGs that have been around, you know, when I had the AKA Karen haircut, uh, that, that style was cute. I liked it. So, yeah. So there's a lot of things that I am thinking about changing. You know, your girl is getting up there in age, so I wanna kind of do some things that are gonna slow down the aging process um, we'll see. We'll see. All right, let me get over here and start filming this video. I'm procrastinating. All right, friends. So, let me see. It's about... It's almost 5.30 now. And I have to say I'm kind of proud of myself. So, I edited two videos today. Got one out straight away this morning. And then I have another one that is rendering right now, which we'll be posting next Sunday. I have a live lined up for this coming Saturday. And then I filmed two of my breast surgery journey videos. So I'm excited. Um, those videos will be going out, uh, the breast surgery videos will be going out. I think y'all should be caught up after the next day in the life. That is going out on Sunday, next Sunday. So then that following, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and post them, the series on Friday. Not sure if the YouTube algorithm is gonna pick them up because my channel doesn't normally post on Fridays. Plus it's not really in line with the type of content I normally make, but whatever, I wanna get it out there. Um, so, yeah, it's been a productive day. Two film videos, two edited videos. I'm good. I'm super good. I can't wait to talk to you guys on Saturday. That's going to be so cool. I can't wait. Can't wait. I missed you all. For those of you who reached out to see how I was doing, thank you so, so, so much. And for those of you who left your positive comments and all that good stuff after you found out I had surgery, thank you. Mwah. Thank you so much. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is get over here to these dishes and then... I don't really have anything else to do. Maybe I'll do some laundry today. I'm not sure. I haven't done laundry for like a week. And I was going to ask Kasia to help me, but I'm very particular about my laundry. So, anywho. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and get in here to this kitchen. And I think... Is this going to be the end of the video? No, I'll, I'll end it tomorrow because tomorrow I go to another post-op appointment. So I'll be at a two-week mark which is kind of a milestone. Um, and then the next time I see my doctor, I will, it will be at the four week mark. Why can't I speak? The next time I see my doctor will be at a four week mark. And then the next will be at the six week mark. And then I think after that, it's like three months, six months, a year. I think it's how they do it. But I think things are moving along. There's still some tenderness. There's still some soreness. Um, but yeah, we're, we're moving forward. We're moving forward, so super excited about that. Anyway, let me go ahead, finish up this day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Oh, okay, friends. So a couple more things that I want to mention. Um, I'm looking at the thing. A couple more things I want to mention. I have an uninvited visitor in my home right now. Um, this has never happened to me. I saw a mouse or a shrew or whatever the heck it is. Just kind of like running back and forth between my living room and my kitchen and it scared the crap out of me. Kasha had a fit. She wanted to leave and never come back. She said she saw one in her room, but I think maybe she, you know, from hearing me react, she might've just gotten excited and thought she saw something in her room. So um, I have all kinds of traps set down. After I'm done filming this video, I'll show you guys the traps and stuff, but it's not cool. I haven't been able to, I haven't seen it since that night. I wanted to say it was Friday night when it showed up. And so, 
Yeah, and see, I'm thinking like any little sound might be that little critter. So, I mean, it's not cool. I, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> They're not welcome. So hopefully we can get that taken care of sooner than later. Um, but before I start filming my video, I talked about some things that I want to do to kind of like, you know, just slow down the aging process and just be healthier and all that stuff. I feel like getting the reduction kind of put me on the path to wanting to be more health conscious. So I'm looking forward to getting back in the gym and just doing some things so that I can be at my best. So anywho, I am trying out these two makeups um, foundations. One is by MAC and one is by Chanel. Um, the MAC one I got, let's see, it's a Studio Fix Fluid in the color NC45.5. And I used to buy my MAC products from Nordstrom, but we don't have a Nordstrom anymore, so I had to order it online. And I honestly feel like this color is a little light for me, but looking at it online, it looked fine. So I don't know, the, the jury's still out. I'm wearing it today, and I'm gonna give it until the end of today to see what I think. Um, but I really do like MAC. MAC makes some really great products, especially for women, women with darker skin tones. So I think that if I don't like this color, I might mix it with another color to make it closer to my skin complexion. Um, and then the Chanel. And I don't think I've ever worn Chanel foundation, but this one here, this is Chanel and I got her in the color, what color did I get it in? BD131. And I feel like, and this is the ultra wear, I feel like this one may have a little bit too much of the reddish undertone for me. Um, I have worn it once. It, it will probably be perfect in the summertime. But online, again, it's just really difficult to tell. And then I want to try a foundation from Clinique because I've never tried their foundation. So anyway, I wanna make a video about that because there are women that are, you know, getting more mature and they have some really great makeup tips and stuff like that. So I've been following them and I'm thinking about maybe incorporating that on this channel. We'll see, we'll see, I don't know. But anyway, let me get to this breast reduction video and I will check in with y'all. All right, you guys, so I'm back here at another post-op appointment, and this is week two. So they're going to take a look at my suture, see how I'm healing up, and then we'll go from there. I think my next appointment will be like at week four. All right, friends. Hello. It is Saturday. It is Saturday, and we are going to be out and about. Um, I think today I'm going to stop by the library because it's been a minute since I've been there. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then when baby girl gets off from work, we're going to, I think we're gonna go and have dinner somewhere that we haven't been to before. I don't know where that is just yet, but we'll take you all along with us for that. Um, I haven't really been getting out that much as of late because I'm still recovering, um, but I can't just stay in the house, y'all. I can't just stay in the house, I can't do it. So I'm about to be out here in these streets. I'm watching my camera because my memory card is almost full. All right, yeah, so the um, the hunt for the mouse is still happening. I'm kind of annoyed right now, you know, that we haven't caught anything. But let me show you, I've kind of upgraded the mouse trap, if you will. All right, so we got these here. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Jaws. So the way this works is you put peanut butter in this little hole and that's supposed to attract them. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if maybe uh, this particular mouse doesn't like the brand of peanut butter I'm using, but I read somewhere that they also like bacon and hot dogs. So I think I have some hot dogs, so I might put those in the trap too. But I have about four of these. One is in Kasia's room, one is in my room, one is here, and then I have one Friends, so I went and checked the mousetrap that I put in the cabinet. There 
there's a mouse in it. I don't want to get rid of it. I'm scared. I know it's dead, but I don't want to touch it. Y'all want to see it? If you don't want to see it, look away. But I got to share this with somebody. Hold on. Y'all see that? That is cray cray. All right, so when I went and got the mouse trap, um, they told me that they're reusable, but that shit is going in the trash. I am not trying to unhook that thing and then rinse it and reuse. I can't, I'm, I'm not built like that. I am not built like that. Hell, I don't know if I'm built to get it out of there. I gotta get it out of there though. That's freaking gross. So anyway, I believe we got him. I think there was just the one. Um, I saw one and then Kasha said that she saw one in her room. Ugh, I got goosebumps. Okay, y'all, let me go. <laughs> All right, friends, we are out and about. I just finished, just finished doing some shopping. I went to um, H&M just to kind of window shop, but I saw some really cute items. So since I've had my um, breast reduction surgery, certain things that I couldn't wear before look really good on me. I'm excited about it, super excited. So I picked up a few items. Um, I'm really excited about the jackets that I picked up because again, you know, when you got a lot of boobage, you can find things that will fit, but I always felt like I was stuffed into the blazer. Did I say jacket? I meant blazer. Y'all, I'm still, the, the mess that I've been on are still trying to wear off, so <clears throat> do with that what you will. I did a live stream this morning and kind of caught hell. <laughs> from a couple people actually um so the live stream was was talking about who's hiring in alaska which companies and um the site that i was reading from listed the number of jobs and it did not register with me that the numbers were way too high to just be for anchorage and that they were in fact nationwide so somebody got on there I can't remember her name, but she got blocked because I'm like, I don't need your negative energy right now. So that's that on that. Um, but anywho, I put a little comment and said, hey, you know, you guys, show me some grace. Um, I'm really trying to get back in the swing of things because I know me, if I let things go too long, I might be on a YouTube break for like a year. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let me go ahead and host a live today. So next weekend will be much better Hopefully nobody was harmed because of the information that I shared during the live. Yeah. So anyway, I'm about to go to McDonald's, get a vanilla cone. And then after that, I'm going to go to the car wash because my car is dirty. It's all get out. And I would love to, hold on, let me order mine. Can I get for you? Hi, I would like a vanilla cone. I'm oh, sorry, we don't have ice cream. Oh, you don't? Okay. All right, thanks. Y'all, what the hell is wrong with McDonald's? How do they not have ice cream? It's 12 o'clock. <laughs> Y'all, I can't. Uh, okay, so I would go to another location, but I think I'm gonna just go to the um, car wash. Yeah, I'm hot too. It's 38 degrees out, so I'm clearly overdressed. Well, yeah how y'all doing this weekend how have you been that's my question i feel like i'm so out of touch it's kind of like when you step away from youtube for a minute and then you come back even if you step away for a week you really feel like you're behind on everything everything and that algorithm shows no mercy so i mean i've dropped way to the bottom but it's all good it is all good it's great um, so yeah, I'm just waiting to get through this McDonald's line and get on to my next stop. So 
I'll check in. I won't give you guys a car wash cam because you've seen that probably in the last video or the video before. Um, so I'll pick it back up maybe after I have an ice cream in hand. We'll see. All right, friends. So I just got back. Um, before I came home, I went to Barnes & Noble and picked up a book that I've been wanting to get my hands on. I think I'm gonna share that with you all um, maybe in the next couple upcoming vlogs. <sighs> y'all, I feel like I wanna be normal again. I wanna be normal again so bad, but it's, it's slow coming. But we're getting there. Um, I went and picked up the most recent issue of O Magazine, not today but a couple days ago. Um, and what interested me the most, oh, okay. So restore your body, fitting, right? Um, resetting your relationships. I wanna make some new friends. So I was reading an article and I think they said that, and I know you don't have to do this, but it's good to kind of like add more people to your friend circle every free, <laughs> told y'all. Hold on. every few years to add at least one friend to your friend circle. So I wanna work on doing that. The people that I'm close to or that I've hung out with or that I consider my friends, I've known them for years. I don't really have anybody new that I've added to my friend circle, so. And I mean, the working relationships that I'm establishing with the ladies at work, I don't know if I can really call those friendships yet. You know, we don't do stuff outside of the office besides go to lunch. So we'll see. And have y'all ever had the situation where um, <laughs> you have a group of friends over here, but then you have another group and very rarely should the two meet each other because it's kind of like oil and water, whatever, oil and gasoline, I don't know. But I mean, I'm the kind of person where I like for everybody to get along and it would be great, but it just doesn't work that way. And one set of friends is from, that I've known like since school, and then the other set of friends is I either met while I was in college or I met on the job. The college and the job people get along really well. <laughs> but the school people, I mean, not the school people, but the, uh, yeah, the people that I grew up with, not so much. So, anywho, that's that. Um, so yeah, uh, what else was I gonna say? I don't remember. But I'm gonna do a recap of the live video that I did earlier today. So I'm gonna do like the cliff note version of that and get that out to you all on Wednesday. So, and then I gotta edit the day in the life for this vlog and have that out to you all tomorrow. So your girl is busy trying to get back on it, trying to get back on a track. So yeah, let me go ahead and um, set up to film this cliff notes version of the live. And I will check back in probably when I get baby girl and we're heading off to dinner. No, we don't. Hi, friends. Hi. I'm here with Baby Girl. We're about to go grab some Din Din. So the place we're going to is called Sweet 100. And I featured this restaurant in one of, gosh, maybe a couple videos. Kasha has never been. So we're going to go and check it out. I think just about everything I've ever had is really good. Everything on the menu. So we're going to go and check it out. Why are you looking at me like that? I think you're so pretty. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> She probably gonna ask me for something. Uh, no? I was gonna ask for a Starbucks, but I, I was gonna pay. Okay, Remember, we can still do that. Last night I told you I'd pay for it. Yeah. Because I'm so nice. And so I was wondering if Kasia might remove the mouse for me because I'm scared to death to do it. I mean, if you record me, then I'll do it. Oh, I'll record you. Yeah. You're gonna use it for content? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good, you guys. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. So anyway, um, we're out here and it's, what time is it? 3.34. 3.34 and they don't open until 4 o'clock. So we're waiting. We're waiting. It's a balmy 37 degrees right now. In my opinion, it's super hot, but Kasha doesn't think it's that hot. Mm -mm. Um, oh yeah, and then while I was working, this lady said, have you thought about modeling? Then I was like, well, I thought about it. And she's like, you be a good model. So yeah, you should put that in the video, not I cut it out. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, we're going to get up in here and then after, I guess we're going to go to Starbucks. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know, maybe we'll do something tomorrow. We'll see. I have 
work a treat. Have work a treat. That's right. We can go. We can do walk. something during the day. Yeah, let's go out on a walk. You want to go on a walk? It ain't that warm though. Okay. I would say once it gets to like 40, 45, we can go on a walk. All right, you guys. So we will check back when we're inside the restaurant. the seasonal fruit crisp. You should have the lemon mouth. Wow. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll know by the time the waitress gets back. Okay, friends. <laughs> so, we are on our way home. And we're going to give you our full review of the meal we had at Sweet 100. And like I mentioned, we got some dessert to go. We're not going to dig into the dessert just yet, though. We're full. Yeah. We're really full. We're so. watch something. Yeah. And I only ate like one third of the ribs. Oh, my gosh. That was a massive plate. You guys saw it. Um, so we'll check back in once we get home, give our review, um, and then we'll give the rest of the review on the dessert, like maybe tomorrow or something like that. All right. It's a kosher effect. Oh Lord. Hey you guys. All Hi. right. So we're about to round out this video, but before we round out the video, um, we want to give you our critique on Sweet 100. So let's start with the drinks. No, let's start with the service when we first went in. So oh, they're super nice. Yeah, the girl who was at the front asked Kasha how long it took her to do her hair. And, and Kasha, I said 13 years, and she looked so confused. <laughs> she looked way confused because so. she thought this wasn't Kasha's hair. Kasha has been growing her locks for like 13 years now. She first got them when she was five, and now she's 18. I'm all natural, guys. Yeah, she's all natural. And so if you're interested, follow her channel. Um, hey, hey, it's Kasha. Yeah, it's Kasha XO. Hey, it's Kasha XO. And Was she's it XOXO. I think it's XOXO. Yeah. And she's gonna be, um, you know, she films all kinds of stuff. You kind of get to see her point of view. But I made a life. video of me twisting my hair. Yeah. So she has some videos out there that she's gonna start doing, um, you know, maintenance on her hair styles. If you're curious about that, and she's also gonna do a lock journey video. So yeah. I think that's gonna be really neat. So she'll talk about what it's been like having locks for the past. 13 years. The people want it. Who am I to, to reject people what they want? I know. That's she's, rude. That's just the kind of person she is. She's so giving. I'm so humble too. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Um, so the girls, she sat us and then she recommended the rib dinner mm -hmm. and she said, but it's huge. So if you're not wanting a whole lot of food, then you may not want to get that but it sounded really good. It's been a while since I had baby back ribs. So I went ahead and ordered the ribs. It came with a side of coleslaw and a side of fries, which the fries were so good. They were good. And she doesn't like salt. Yeah. Well, so I, I mean, salt is okay. I don't like salty. You want some salt? Yeah, no. <laughs> I, like, I like enough salt to season, but not overly salty. As I get older, I feel like my taste buds are not a fan of salty, salty. Foods. And then, what did you get for your meal? I saw something in the okay, hiccups. So I got um, fish and fries, as you guys saw it earlier. It's really tasty, and they had like this. Um, um, what's it called? Two tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce, and it was tasty. Yeah. Um, I 
felt like they could have had more flavor. Sorry. The tartar sauce? No, the fish. <gasps> the fish wasn't seasoned? It was, but not as much as um, the as you Kinley's like. oh, fishes, because yeah. theirs was really good. Mm -hmm. And I got like this fancy lemonade water. <laughs> It is pretty good and I liked it. Is it, it called Pellegrino fun. or something like that? Yeah, that word. Yeah. Yeah, so she had that and then I had two mules. They weren't the like traditional Moscow mules. I think they had like blood orange in it or something like that. They were really good, not super strong, but I didn't want to drive after having two. So baby girl took the wheel. Um, and then dessert. I got the lemon mouse. Moose. <laughs> she got the lemon mousse. And I stuck it in the freezer because it started getting kind of watery looking. So you might want to check it. <laughs> and, I got, and I got the seasonal crisp um, with strawberries and blueberries. And we haven't had our desserts yet because we were so full. Beautiful. I only ate one third of the rib. I gave you one rib. It was tasty. It tasted like teriyaki chicken kind of. Teriyaki? Yeah. Yeah. And then I had one rib. And so I have like four ribs left. But four you ate most of the fries. Those fries were so good. <laughs> they were so good. Yeah. So, um, a score of one to ten. Like eight point seven. Eight point seven. Okay. Yeah. Why eight point seven? I feel like it got the most flavor. Oh, with the halibut. Yeah. Okay. I think I would give it. And we haven't tried the dessert yet, so I don't know if it's really fair. But based off of what we've had, I would give it a nine. I would give it a nine. Our waitress was ripped. Did you see her arms? No, but she was so good. They were so toned. Yeah, she was really good. She took really great care of us. And so our meal, everything combined came to like $97 and some change. It was worth it to me though. Yeah. It was really good. I mean, they gave you a, a lot of food. You got a lot of food. Now, when you look at the dessert, you might not feel that way. Why is it small? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, but anywho, I mean, yeah, we ate good. We have leftover, so I'm cool with that. But there was this one kid, like, behind my mom, and it was crying. It, it was crying so much. Like, <laughs> yeah. And because children cry so hard that, that they start coughing. So he's like, like <laughs> okay. that thing. But that didn't have anything to do with the restaurant. The food was really good. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, so would you go back? Yeah. Okay. If I had a friend. Yeah. Not by myself. Yeah. So super good. Um the atmosphere I thought was really nice. Very clean. Um, yeah. And it was great. Recommendation if you're gonna go, try to go around four o'clock when, when they, they open. open. Yeah, because you get seated right away. You could just walk in. You don't have to have reservations. And they take really good they always take good care of you. But I just feel like going early. I don't know if I can go back now to like going later in the day yeah all right you guys so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up comment subscribe share and we will see you in the next one I need